Welcome back, Pokemon trainers. Professor Chaz here, the lab coat's on back order, and uh, Niantic's domination of this channel continues today with another Pokemon Go video. It is community day for Squirtle for the month of July, and if you don't know what the details are, starting at about 3 o'clock my time for about three hours, or exactly three hours I should say, there's going to be a lot of wild Squirtle appearing everywhere in the world. And uh, there's a chance you can find a shiny Squirtle if you do your uh, encounters and get a lot of them. Or if you're lucky like me, like the last month, you can get like three shinies back to back right at the start. But we'll see what happens, you know. If I get a shiny, awesome stuff. If you don't know, I am a Squirtle trainer through and through. My very first Pokemon in history, turn the volume up, was Squirtle back in Pokemon Blue. So I've got an affinity for those little water turtles. And as you can see, I'm got, or I have Spritz with me. I'm not sure if you can really see her that well there, but she's sporting the sunglasses too because during the event, if you do research tasks to have a Squirtle appear for you, there is a chance you can find one with the Squirtle Squad sunglasses. So I'm looking forward to getting some of those possibly. For the time being though, I still have over two hours until the event begins. My items are pretty well maximized. I've only got space for like four more things. And uh, I just cleaned up on the Articuno raids of yesterday. Hyper potions are filling up quite a lot of space. I could just toss them to make more space, of course, but I think just to uh, kill some time before the Squirtle event begins, I'm going to try dominating as many gyms as I can, even if only temporarily. I did get my 50 coins for the morning, of course. Now, another thing that I want to do once I do clear out some space, I'm going to pick up one of these special boxes. You get four incense, which I'll be using during the event, try to get as many Squirtle as possible. You get three egg incubators, four lucky eggs. Those I'll be using as well, because we still have our global challenge rewards of one hour lucky eggs, which is very nice. And those egg incubators are interesting, because during the event, every egg incubated will be hatching four times as quickly. And if you can see here, I've got myself a fair number of eggs waiting to be incubated. Some Alolan eggs, here we've got a 10 kilometer. I'll probably try to uh, hatch the biggest kilometer ones first to get them cleared out. And as time goes on, I can get some more eggs filled up from some gifts from you folks. I haven't opened any gifts yet today. Of course, the items, like I said, are pretty much maxed out just about. So we'll look forward to that. And I didn't mention either, but during the three-hour event, if you evolve a War Turtle into Blastoise, it gets the event-exclusive move Hydro Cannon. I'm not sure what the stats are on that, what kind of charge we're looking at, or what kind of power. But we will do our best to get as many of those as we can. Something I got to keep in mind for this one, though. Whenever we do community days, I usually forget to do this. As I capture all these different wild Squirtle, I gotta check their appraisal, and if they are less than, you know, second tier, like third or fourth level, I gotta transfer them immediately, because I run out of space so much, and I'm almost filled up on space as it is. I've only got space for 31 more Pokemon right now. So, also in the meantime, I'm gonna try to clear out some more of my research tasks. I've got a couple here saved up from yesterday's Articuno event to evolve a Water-type Pokemon. Those do generate a Squirtle as the reward, there's a chance that might be a Sunglasses Squirtle, hopefully. Now, if I can do a raid throughout that mission, see if I can get a third Evolve Water-type Pokemon research task, maybe we can get three chances at a Sunglasses Squirtle. I don't see any raids at the moment here. Actually, wait, where are they at? Come on. I hate that. I try to scroll over and it thinks I'm moving down. Those are... Where is that at? I've never been to those places before. If I can find those, I can take them on. Otherwise... Something's going to pop up here in the next couple hours. So, right now, my mission is get as many gyms taken down as possible, use up basically as many hyper potions as I can, rather than just tossing them out. I like to gain the full use of the items. So, getting experience for battling and then healing up afterwards is better than just tossing the potions out. So, I'll be doing that. I'll be trying to, essentially, kill some time before i got to go recharge and prepare for three hours of Squirtle hunting. So, I'll check back in with you as something amazing begins to happen. So I've done a little bit of the gym battling and I believe I've gotten enough item space freed up to go into the shop. I'm gonna go to the special box. I have for community day. I believe that's what this is for. There's the anniversary box. This, you get two super incubators and two premium passes, but I'm kind of more interested in getting some incense and lucky eggs as well. So I'm gonna get this one here for 480 coins. Four incense, three egg incubators, four lucky eggs. Let's grab them right now. There we go. I'm going to wait till the event begins, though, to start incubating the eggs and uh, try to get that. Why are you attacking that gym? I was heading down there to City Market. They're attacking the gym. Bunch of jerks. Anyway, I'm going to wait till the event begins, and I'll start incubating eggs and see how many we can hatch along the way. I'm thinking definitely I want to hatch those Alolan eggs, but since we gain four times the walking distance, I'm going to incubate the highest eggs first. First one, of course, being that 10 kilometer. 
All right, we're getting close to the point that I'm going to stop and recharge the phone because uh, we've just got an hour and 18 minutes until the event begins. It might take me a good while to recharge back to full. So a little bit more walking, a little bit more, uh, can't do any research tasks. I have to win a raid. There are no raids going on right now. I could just toss it, but I hate tossing missions that I can't accomplish, you know. So I'll hang on to that. And then once we get the event started up, evolve a water type. Get two Squirtle right away, maybe a shiny, maybe the sunglasses. What do you think, Spritz? We got a chance? I think we might. All right, let's get moving on. Well, just under an hour until the uh, Squirtle event kicks off, so we're going to spend some time charging up the phone once again and recharging myself, get some nice uh, soup in me, a late lunch here. And Spritz has been trying to drop out of the bag. Very naughty. So I have to find a way to have her sort of maybe right up my side as we're walking around. I don't want to have to be second checking, second guessing, making sure that she's not dropping out and running off on her own. It's dangerous up here, you gotta stick with your uh, buddy. All right, in about, what was that? About 52 minutes time, I will begin the Squirtle Hunt. It has just past three o'clock, it is time for the Squirtle Hunt to begin. Let's fire up the game here. Now there's a few things I gotta do before moving forward here. Let's get our first Squirtle right now. I've got plenty of golden raspberries, I'm gonna try to use those up. Didn't think that was shiny. I saw a sparkle, I think it was from the Pokeball though. But actually, no way, I gotta use pinup berries. I get extra candy, I try to evolve as many of these as possible. Get some cool Hydro Cannon Blastoise. All right, now, what I gotta use? I gotta use a bunch of items. I'm gonna lure the stop, first of all. Whenever there's an event going on for Community Day, usually everybody lures these places up before I have a chance to. Oh, not bad with the best already. That's pretty decent. Look, see, it's already lured. All right, well that saves me an item at least though. All right, so first of all, before the items, let's incubate. I've got those incubators that I picked up. The 10 kilometer is going in right now. That brings it down to 2.5. Yes, it does, awesome stuff. I'm gonna incubate two of these. This one is from Mexico, one of our Alolan eggs. Incubate that one as well from California, United States. And that's the three that we have, okay, so. That is good. I'm now going to use an incense. Let's go ahead and fire that up. I'm now going to use a lucky egg. There's so much i got to burn through. I'm now going to use a star piece. i got so many of these things to use up. All right, so we see a Squirtle has just spawned. Can we get a shiny? Not just yet. Now, you're going to take a pin at Barry, though. The screen went dark. I was having trouble seeing it for a second there. All right, now, after this, I gotta use, I'm sorry, I gotta evolve a water type and complete two of my research tasks at once, possibly getting two chances for a sunglasses squirtle. Now again, I don't know if you need event-specific research tasks to get yourselves these sunglass squirtle. Room for improvement, I gotta transfer those ones right away. Let's do that, boom, off and running. All right, now, let's find ourselves a shelter. I do have shelter saved up for evolutionary purposes. Shelter, there we go. You can easily evolve up, complete another research, or two research tasks, not only giving us two more Squirtle, but also giving us another task I can spin off of this Pokestop that's been lured up. Oh, there's so much happening all at once. I think I took care of everything I wanted to do though. Incubate the eggs, doing my research tasks, all of my items, like the lucky egg and all that. All right, let's claim these research tasks. Let's see what we get. One shiny Squirtle, sunglasses Squirtle, Kind of a regular on both counts, but okay, that's our stamp for the day too. Oh, I messed up that throw. I got plenty of Pokeballs though. I also have to, as I walk around, open up more gifts from you folks out there, and I'll probably record that and show that off because I can get a lot of good pinup berries out of those. Am I plugged in at 100%? I can get a lot of good pinup berries out of the gifts. All right, that is our first Squirtle. Stat-wise, you're probably going to be okay-ish. Yeah, really strong. We'll hold on to you for the time being. Let's complete this research task. Another Squirtle. Non-shiny, non-sunglasses. So like I say, it might actually be just event-specific research tasks that give you the sunglasses ones. All right, so we're not quite getting our Squirtle shiny counter up on screen just yet. Hopefully, we'll get that up there. Now, can I beat my record of eight Larvitar from the last one? I don't know. One of your stats like, really strong as well. Man, we're going to run out of space pretty soon. Let's spin this stop from Marvel Unleashed has lured it up. What's the research task say? 
catch five squirtle. Okay, I think we can manage that. Let's get moving and I'll show you things as they happen. Got a lot of squirtle here for potential shinies. If nothing else though, we're gonna get our research task complete pretty quick, I'm sure. All right, let's show you some amazing things when they happen because with all these squirtle, we gotta find something pretty cool, right? So I've just been informed by another player that there's a uh, research task here at this stop I'm standing next to that apparently on both accounts that they were using, you get a shiny squirtle as a reward. Shiny squirtle with the sunglasses, actually. So let's take a look here what the task is. Catch five squirtle. Okay, so we can do that. Let's grab this one down here. Again, I can't really tell. I don't think you're shiny. I don't see the sparkles. Let's go for the pin at Barry. But let's keep moving on and get more squirtle, complete these tasks, and hopefully find them shinies. Another squirtle here on the boardwalk. Don't see the shine just yet, but let's go ahead, catch this one up, hopefully. Complete one of our first tasks. And see if we do get a shiny off of that one with the sunglasses. Just gonna step down this way a little bit. Oh, you're gonna break out. Don't run away though, thank you. Stick around, Squirtle. You're the star of the day. I should probably open up some gifts in a little bit here too. See if I can reload my pin at berries. Alright, we got that catch. That is gonna be one of our research tasks complete. What do you think the chances are? Our first event task being complete. We got enough candy to evolve into a Blastoise as well there. You have room for improvement. You have room for Professor Willow to say hi. Alright, let us complete this reward. What do we get? We got the sunglasses. I love it. Alright, you are taking a golden raz, even though I'm pretty sure you can't run away. Let's make this throw here. No, I'm good. I'm just catching some Pokemon in the game here. Can I take a picture of you though? Yeah, if you want to. Sure thing, yeah. Alright, back on the track. We get another Squirtle here. Non-shiny, but we will pin out Barry that one. And keep on moving. So we have another task. I wonder if every one of the ones that say to catch five Squirtle guaranteed gives you the ones with the sunglasses. We'll find out in a little bit as I capture, a, I think, uh, three more to complete that other task we picked up. Plus, there's still many more tasks I got to grab along the city as well. Oh, this is cool. Let's get moving. Okay, got us another Squirtle here by this other Pokestop. Can we see a shiny? Nope. I kind of don't even care about the shiny so much, though. It's I want the Squirtle with the sunglasses. If I can get an entire group of five, that would be the Squirtle Squad. Now, what would be really cool, what if they made it so that some of these Squirtle could have those triangular shades that Ash's Squirtle had when he first encountered and uh, brought that guy along on his journey? I don't think that's going to be the case, but it would be cool if it was. All right, this is the last Squirtle we need to catch to complete another one of our research tasks to catch five. There we go. Plus, there's a Pokestop here for another research task as well. But let us first... Actually, I should have spun that beforehand. Could have been another one of those Catch 5 Squirtle. Alright, that is Transfer Fodder. Now let's complete that task. And... Do we see more sunglasses? And it's a shiny with sunglasses! Oh, are you kidding me? Awesome stuff! We got the shiny with the shades. Woo! Golden Raspberry. Like I said, I don't think they're going to run away anyway. But I'm not taking no chances. We got the shiny with the shades! What do you think, Spritz? It's pretty awesome, eh? Yeah, it is! Alright. So, let's check your appraisal. Battle with the best, with max HP. Look at that green shell. I love it. Oh, that is so cool. Alright, that is one down. Let's spin this one up and get another mission. Another task, I should say. And that gives us... Catch Fly Squirtle. Let's keep on moving on. They get us a fifth Squirtle right here, a standard encounter, but this does finish up two more of our research tasks of catching five. Can we get the catch and find another shiny with the sunglasses? <sighs> Don't do that. Come on, stay in that ball. We want to see the sunglasses, please. That was a pretty bad throw, but we still managed to land it. I'm going to slip across the street while the slipping is good. I guess I think of what to name all these Squirtle that I get too. The ones that I'll be keeping. Alright, let's step in here away from the wind ever so slightly. Appraisal says room for improvement, room for transfer. There we go. Let's complete up a couple more research tasks. Look at all these squirtle. Alright, what do we get? Standard with the sunglasses though. Let's go ahead, raspberry it up. 
I love this event. Squirtle, of course, my first Pokemon ever in the entire franchise. And Squirtle was the one that got me really interested in the game because it looked so cute. I love turtles as animals in general. And I wanted to know more about, like, what is this Pokemon thing? Like, how, does the, how do these creatures get bigger and stronger and all that good stuff? That thing had good stats. So, Squirtle is definitely one of my favorites. Non-shiny uh, Squirtle are okay, I guess. But another one with the shades. Uh, it's not quite the shades that they wore in the anime. The really super round ones. But, I mean, I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to nitpick and say it's not the actual Squirtle Squad Squirtle. It's a Squirtle with sunglasses. That's the important thing. Right, Spritz? That's right. All right, let's get some more research tasks and find some more Squirtle along the way. I kind of want to find one that is a non task one that is shiny. So let's keep on a moving. There's a regular shiny there, just as I was talking about it. All right, Golden Raz. This is a wild encounter, so it can run away. But let's hope not. Oh, come on. That was a perfect throw, too. Here, take that one. Oh, come on, what? Anyways, Golden Raspberry Curveball. If that's not the catch, then what more do you need? Exactly, nothing. Boom, shiny Squirtle. All right, let's check these stats here. Of course, even though if it might be just uh, room for improvement, it's a shiny. You stick around, buddy. I love the look of that green shell. I haven't really seen that many shiny Squirtle in the regular main series games. And now that I'm looking at them here in this Pokemon Go, I kind of like it. How about you? Regular. All right, still moving on. All right, do we see our next shiny Squirtle? I think we only got two so far. I believe so. This one is not one to tip the scales any further towards the positive, but there's many more Squirtle to go. We're only 28 minutes into the event. Oh, so much time left to go. Let's keep on rolling. It's kind of crazy during Community Day. Usually, mostly you see just the special Pokemon showing up. Look at this. We're getting all these uh, windy Pokemon. We got Swablu. We got Abra. Hopefully, that means we might find a wild bag on as well, which I'd certainly take. However, another chance for a shiny Squirtle right down this way. There's a Chikorita there too. Not here, but at another Pokestop. But anyways, let's grab one more Squirtle, if for no other reason, and to work on these uh, research tasks. What do you say, Squirtle shiny up? No. Oh well. We're having fun anyways though. Let's keep on moving. We have us another Squirtle right here. What do we see? A standard one. All right, sorry for the pause, but of course you know how the game works sometimes. You gotta wait for that spinny ball to tell you when it's time to play. Now, I noticed down at City Market, just a little ways down the road, there's a Kabuto raid going on. Today's not Kabuto day. However, as you know, I have that other research task to win a raid. I kind of want to clear that out. And uh, normally I wouldn't take time away from doing some squirtle hunting or you know the mascot pokemon or the uh, feature pokemon for the community days but i kind of want to get as many catch squirtle tasks as possible so i might take some time out and solo that kabuto shouldn't take too long let's do a quick check here i'm going to cross the street in a moment so i don't feel bad tapping on across the street is a standard squirtle no i really don't feel bad tapping on across the street all right let's go ahead and snag this i'll go take on that kabuto and it could be shiny too for all we know Let's go find out. Pretty much quickest raid battle ever right there. We got three golden res, two super potions. 500 Stardust, we see a potential shiny, but if nothing else, it does clear our research task, as I said. Now I'm going to claim all of my tasks, because I could get a fifth Squirtle on the way down here. No shiny, but that's okay. All right, let's go with, uh, do we need to give you anything? Let's go with a regular catch, if we can make the catch. And then hopefully find some shiny Squirtle with the sunglasses off of these missions. Yes, got the catch, all right, sweet. Okay. Just grab a little bit of a rest here. I gotta go ahead and use some more incense and uh, star piece as well. This Kabuto can battle with the best. I'm gonna capitalize your name being a raid boss as I tend to do. All right, time to claim our rewards. First of all, look at all these Squirtle around here too. Let's get those three super potions out of the way. Let's claim a Squirtle. 
Non shiny, but that is fine. Let's go ahead and razz it up. Golden razz it up. Great thrill. Awesome stuff. Oh, this is so cool. Now, I'm hoping I can get three shinies regular and three shinies with the sunglasses, and I can evolve them up as you know I choose to. So that's the first one. Stat wise, you're probably going to be pretty amazing. Yeah, really strong. All right, and our third task completing right now. What do we find? Non shiny. Well, I can't really complain though. I still got the shades. And there's plenty more squirrel around here to catch, more research tasks to pick up. Let's see what the rest of these Pokemon give us. And here I am, completely stupid. I completely forgot. I said I was going to use another incense and another uh, star piece. Let's use those right now. I'm also kind of silly, so I'm walking around catching all these Squirtle without even uh, getting more research tasks to get more sunglasses Squirtle. So let's see what this one is over here, other side of the city market, but I'll give it a shot. We don't see a shiny. I'm also going to start tossing some of my gifts out towards you folks there as well, and opening some too for more peanut berries. I think I'm clearing out the space quite nicely in the item bag. Now could be the time to start opening up some gifts, but I'll wait until... I think I'm heading back down towards the boardwalk. There might be a bit of a gap between Pokemon captures. Alright, let us continue maneuvering onward. We've got to catch three more Squirtle here. There's plenty in this area. In fact, one has come from the incense. Let's see. Does this one give us a shiny? No, but there's going to be another catch. Let's get some more candy. And I think as soon as my incense and star piece runs out, that's when I'm going to pop open some more... Gifts, look for some more pinnet berries. We got an excellent throw on that squirtle. Come on, okay, oh, he's like, come on, really? But that lag, that new lag they've been put into the game, really catches me every time. All right, so we have room for improvement, so that's gonna be a transfer. We're gonna get two more, there's two more down here, there they are, right by the St. John Theater Company, and I'll wait and spin that stop as soon as we've got space from these research tasks. No, I'm not spinning you yet. I just said. All right, do we see a shiny from this? No, but well, let's get this pin up catch. Hopefully you folks are doing just as well as I am. I say that, of course, you'll be seeing this after the event, but hopefully you folks were doing as well as I am at the point of recording this before you're watching this. You know what I'm trying to say, the old uh, post-recording thing. It'd be cool if I could do some out and about live streaming for Pokemon Go at some point. That would require a laptop, I would assume, and a pretty good Wi-Fi signal. All right, let's get this other one here. Non-shiny. Let's get some extra candies. Got a lot of candy for evolutions as well here, coming up pretty soon. But now we've got three. Well, if we catch this thing, wait. There we go. We now have three. Research tasks complete. Three more sunglass squirtle coming up. Can we get a shiny once again? This one is pretty decent, so that is going to be, of course, transferred. I'm doing okay keeping up some uh, empty space. Alright, another Squirtle appeared here too. This one, non-shiny, but we're going to get you anyways, of course. So we should have plenty. In fact, you know what I should do? If I can find one with really good stats, which I'm sure we have plenty of them, I should probably evolve one immediately and see if we can add little spritz here to our collection. I'm just going to lean up here as we get two more of these research tasks complete. Wonder what we're going to find. Could be shiny. So this one, battle with the best, with really strong attack. <laughs> Next up, I'm just loving this. This is so cool. I think it's cool. They finally gave another Pokemon a costume like this. And, you know, usually you would think it's Pikachu because Pikachu's the mascot. But the fact that they gave Squirtle the sunglasses, that opens up all these possibilities. Any species could have its own specific costume now, which I think is really cool. Like one of the fun things I did back in the uh, earlier Pokemon games of Gen 3 and 4 were the co uh, contests. You could dress your Pokemon up with different things. There's a max defense one right there. And uh, being to dress up your Pokemon with costumes like this is really cool. All right, another non-shiny. They're probably going to be super rare, but I'm glad we found one as soon as we did. And thanks to that other player for letting me know ahead of time. To look for a shiny with sunglasses from that particular stop. But there are many more stops left to spin in this town. In fact, the one that we're standing at right now, I'll spin that up in a little bit. We're about an hour into the event, so about one third of the way. Really strong HP. Let's see what this random one... Actually, no, let's spin this first. And that should be another one of our catch five. Yep, so let's catch one right now. Non-shiny. That is totally fine. 
let's go ahead and grab this. And I think when I come back in a moment, I'll be opening up some gifts to get some more pinnut berries because those are starting to run a little bit low. Well, we actually have an egg hatching. I think we have two Alolan eggs hatching right now. Let's see what we get. That gives us time to put something else in incubators as well. Got a Rattata. And you are from... Well, first of all, what's your CP like? I just realized this is going to take up more space in our Pokemon box. Really strong. Really strong attack and defense. You come from California, United States. All right. Another Alolan egg hatching up right now. We still have the uh, 10 kilometer, which we'll be hatching a little bit shortly after that. Another Sand Shrew. Still no Vulpix. Lucky us. All right. You're lower than some of the ones I've seen. Really strong with good HP. You come from Mexico. You would expect a Pokemon that looks like ice to come from Mexico, but I gotta judge. All right, so let's go ahead and... There's a random Gligar out here. Okay, then. We're gonna incubate the seven kilometer. And do I want to incubate one of the... I'll incubate the five, I guess. I got plenty of those incubators from our... Uh, the collection box that I picked up. All right, I'm gonna head to that lured up stop down there. That's usually a pretty good hot spot for wild Pokemon spawns. Could find a bunch more Squirtle down there in just a moment. We just completed another research task here. Let's see what we get from this one. Non-shiny. Oh, well, I mean, I guess since we already had the one, it's okay, but you kind of want more, of course, don't you? Now, there's another Squirtle up this way here, just up the alleyway. We're going to head up that way, grab that. That is one of two more. I need to complete another research task. Plus, this one itself could be shiny. Who knows? Okay, stat-wise, you are... Battle with the best. Max HP and defense. I'm going to say that's probably going to be a good candidate for a Blastoise. So I'm going to take a moment here. We're going to evolve up. Do we see the sunglasses remain? Let's find out. Like I said, I can't imagine them taking the sunglasses away from Mortortle. I really hope they don't. Because if they do, I kind of just wasted this evolution. Awesome stuff. Look at that. It spritz. Right on screen, I love it. Of course, I already have Spritz in the game, but oh, that's so cool with the sunglasses. Now, since we know they keep it, I'm gonna go all the way up to Blastoise. Let's do it, we got the candy, why not? We got a, oh, this is so awesome, a sunglasses Blastoise. And people say this game is dead. You know, I was thinking that with all the Articuno raids going on, people all over the place, this game is not dead at all. They had all these new features and stuff. They're keeping this alive for a long time. Look at this. Not the best CP, but I mean, it's still just like, you know, a low level. But I love it. I want to call it something like, you know, Man in Black or Mon in Black, actually. All right, let's grab another one right up. Actually, there's two more. Can we find it? I knew this was going to happen. No, I got to free up some space. All right, I'm going to grab a seat. Bear with me. All right, I just cleared out two uh, low stat Squirtle. Let's get these two captures here right now. I still got to open those gifts, too. I'm not even at the hotspot for wild Pokemon, either. That's still a little ways down. There's so much going on. And we're only... Oh, 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 I'm so excited. Uh, a little over an hour into the event. There's still almost two full hours left to go. Another task completed. Wow, what are your stats like? Good, I'm kind of glad, because I need to keep space open so we can complete that other research task. Get this other wild one. Maybe find the... Oh, pfft. They're everywhere. <laughs> I love this. Ah, these lepaberries. They're lepaberries. I'm used to getting extra PP from lepaberries. These pinat berries are not going to hold out much longer. But at least our item bag should be quite cleared up nicely for uh, a lot more gifts to be opened and stuff. Let's see. Stat wise, you are room for improvement. Excellent. Thank you very much. I want to get that research task done right now, actually. So let's transfer over and we'll claim that. Grab those other two Squirtle. See a shiny perhaps off of this one. Nope, that's fine though. Let's grab this. So I gotta choose one to be a war turtle with the shades too though. In fact, if I get another one with like uh, just as good stats, like two max stats top level, I might make that a Blastoise as well. Because you're gonna get plenty of candy for Squirtle off all these missions. And just all these wild encounters. You are really strong, good defense, okay. In fact, while we're right here, we've got one more space, I believe, in our Pokemon selections. Let's get ourselves a couple more Squirtle. Right, what I gotta do from now on for Community Day, I gotta check out the Pokedex. How many Pokemon of that species do I have at that point? Like a before and after. 
see how many I go up by during the event. Because uh, I didn't think to do it with Larvitar, and in retrospect, I was thinking I really would have liked to see just how many I got. And uh, didn't think to do it. Didn't think to do it for this one either. So, nobody, or somebody out there. Actually, nobody let me forget. Tell me beforehand when I start recording, even though you can't, because uh, these are not done live. Let me know beforehand to check the before and after of my Pokedex. Because I want to know just how many we get. All right, do we see a final one here with a shiny gleam to it? No, that is okay though. Let's go ahead and get some extra candies and then head to that hot spot. And actually, while we do that, I'm gonna open up those gifts and get some more pinat berries. We get the catch. I'll also need to spend some time transferring other Pokemon. Like, who can I even transfer away? I guess the shelter we evolved earlier. I can send that Cloyster off to Professor Willow. The Squirtle, room for improvement. That's going to Professor Willow. But right now, while we walk, I want to pop open some gifts. So let's see who we got from here. Uh, actually, we have, we have space for eggs. We hatched two Alolan eggs. I'd like to get... I want to hold on to three Alolan eggs at a time. I didn't think to open some gifts before we got some eggs there. But, as of right now, let's find someone who is from a good distance away. Now, as far as good distance, I don't really know. But, Double X Rhino, we'll open them from you. You are further west in Canada, I believe. This gift comes from the ORS cow statue. Can't see a thing about it. So, I guess I'll just open it up, see if we get an Alolan egg. Can we get anything from this? The game's getting kind of laggy. I'll have to probably shut down and restart in just a moment. Also, i got to use another lucky egg, too. We do get an Alolan egg, and friendship level increased. All right, I'll open up more gifts in just a moment. I'm going to shut down and then restart. Now, funnily enough, this is the stop where a lot of Pokemon do appear, but where's all the Squirtle? I mean, there's one there. Let's, uh, let's spin this up first. We're going to get some more research tasks. Thanks to Pat Burgers, we got a bunch of Pokemon appearing around us here. Look at that, catch five Squirtle. Who would have thunk? And it is full, so I've got to spend some time transferring. But first, I'm going to grab a seat. Let's open up some more gifts here. I'm going to open maybe about nine more, so I can open up half of my gifts for the day. Let's get some more local people. I'm looking for Lepa Berries. Church of the Good Shepherd. What do you have for us, Good Shepherd, please? Can you shepherd some? Uh, did I say Lepa Berries again? Why am I calling them Lepa Berries? I don't know. I'm a professor of Pokemon, not of... Pokemon Berries. I guess that's a sub class I could have taken. Anyways, we have Kariko walking a bay leaf from the Assumption Community Center. We've gotten a Match Revive, a Max Potion, an Ultra Ball. I want Lepa... <laughs> Tenat Berries. I wonder if they actually put Lepa Berries in this, what they would do. Because there's so many berries they could have chosen. West Branch Library. Let's open this as a number... Four, I think. There's some pinup berries right there. Awesome stuff. Thank you, Tool Dude. I bumped into Tool Dude and Kariko earlier there today as they were preparing their adventures as well. Let's say this is gift number f six, maybe. From the Church of St. Andrew, St. David. We've got three Pokeballs. I'll take that and Max Revive. All right, let's go for four more gifts. Can we go from Tax Mom. Let's see, from the St. John Monuments Mural. Can we get some pinat berries? I thought it was kind of weird when they introduced golden raspberries. Those don't exist in the main series game, at least not yet. They might put them in eventually, but like, I would have thought they would have given more of a, uh, like, you know, given another berry from the main games their own chance to shine. I was thinking maybe in, uh, instead of a raspberry, Blookberry is kind of a counterpart to raspberry. They could have made that the better, you know, the golden raz. But we saw a couple pinat berries off of that one. Thank you, Blighted Stars. And it's open from Cathartic13, who actually is on vacation right now. Yes, right there. Vacation away from the area. So I could have, could have probably opened up that gift for an egg. But anyways, we've got three Pokeballs, Super Potion, Hyper Potion. Nice. I'm going to have to start battling all sorts of gyms again to use up all these potions. Okay, open one more gift for the time being. We have from Moving Infinitely. From the number two engine house museum. What do we see for possible pinat berries or seagulls? Don't know if I got any pinat berries. I was distracted by bird calls. Alright, so that is going to be it for the gift opening for the time being. 
Another Squirtle. Let's check this one. Actually, there's two Squirtle here. I forgot. We're filled up. Hang on. Hang on. Let's go for some uh, recent catches. What can we transfer away? I think I've checked all these Squirtle. Magikarp, you guys probably aren't any good. In fact, you wouldn't be because I would have actually marked you. So we're going to transfer these three Magikarp here. And i got to really desperately manage the space. All right, let's check these Squirtle. Non-shiny. We didn't get as many pinup berries as I was expecting to, but I mean, I'm not going to complain. I, at least it went up by a somewhat decent amount. <sighs> wonder if we'll ever find another shiny today. I don't think I'm going to have as good luck as I did with the Larvitar. But at least we'll get more uh, tasks complete, of course. All right, you can battle with the Bast, really. Okay, that's not bad. I'll hang on to you. Oh, the other one disappeared. That must have been an incense spawned one. But let's check this one. No one shiny. Oh, what does that sound? Must be some construction happening somewhere. All right, let's move onward. Okay, we've got a five kilometer egg hatching right now. I think that was from our regular incubator. Let's see what we get out of this one. Got an Eevee. At least that's something we can kind of transfer, probably. Depending on the stats, though. Let's take a look here. You are battle with the best with max defense. That, yeah, I'll transfer you in a moment, I think. We have a Squirtle right here. Do we see a shiny? No. But let's check out what else we have for egg-wise. We can incubate something else. Don't attack, Squirtle. Calm down. Just stay in that ball. What? Are you kidding me? There we go. All right, we're going to head to this week to get another one of our research tasks collected. I think this completes another one of ours. Let's boogie on this way. That does complete one. Another one with the sunglasses coming our way. Will it be a shiny? Who can say? All right, pretty decent. That is a transferable offense right there. Off you go. And let's find out. Come on, do we see the shiny? No, but another sunglasses one. I will take it anyways. I'm going to grab this other stop right here that I'm standing beside. It is Chubb's Corner, I believe. Or is that somewhere else in the city? I guess this is the Prince William Streetscape, now that I'm looking at it. But anyways, we can talk about that some other time. I think I've already checked that out on the uh, videos, though. This one, Battle with the Best with Max Attack. Let's grab ourselves another task. Another Pet Burgers task. There we go. i got to send some more gifts out. Oh, there's too much going on. Another Squirtle. Shine for me. No. All right, moving onward. So in between some catchings, I have the 10 kilometer hatching now. Let's see what we get out of this one. Something amazing, perhaps? A oh, trap inch. I know some people still need some of those. I can probably trade one of them up at some point. But for my purposes, not that impressive. Although I can battle with the best with strong attack. All right, let's incubate something else and move on. Oh, wait, I completed a task. Hang on. Let's see what we get for this one. A non-shiny, but let's go ahead and catch it anyways, and then move onward. Okay, it's about time to open some more gifts, I believe. The pinup berries are dropping pretty low. Uh, let's see. Nian Mirai will open from you here. I might not have enough uh, battery charge to finish this uh, mission as well here, by the way. All right, Uptown Lighthouse. Let's get this opened up. Getting ourselves... Come on, pinups. Yes, we've got two pinup berries. Two great balls. I forgot I had space for an egg, too. All right, very cool. Let's open this from Perf Stranger from the Penguin Statue. I want to hurry up and speed through these. I think we've already seen most of these postcards anyway. We've got two more pinat berries, three more Pokeballs. Awesome. Uh, two, you're not local. You know what? Do we have any more local people? Yes, we do. Okay. I'm going to go for the local focal, as I call them, and then we'll open up some more gifts from more distant places. And Spritz has been pretty popular today, actually. Look at that, four pinaps. People wanting photos with our little war turtle here with the shades. It's pretty cool, and I like the fact that it's not just people looking like, you know, oh, that's a cool little doll, let's take a picture. People know that it's a war turtle. I think that is really awesome. From the Memory Vessel Sculpture from Marvel Unleashed. Can you throw us some pin apps, buddy? Don't! Oh, well. we got to revive at least anyway, and that Ultra Ball. If only you could turn the items into Stardust, or coins, or something, because... As I've said many times, I don't use the Ultra Balls. I like the challenge and the thrill of the regular old Pokeballs. All right, from the Irving Nature Park, I believe it was. Pinat Berries, nice. Max Revive, also nice. Max Potion, also, also nice. Who else can we open up from? Let me scroll down for some more of my locals. We have Five Nights at Kenny's. 
Let's see, can you gift us with some amazing pinup berries? Come on, give us the good stuff. Max Revive, Ultra Ball, Kenny. Can he give any worse gifts? All right, let's open up this from Math Jock 97. We're almost at our max for the day, I believe. Nunavut Memorial. There we go. See, Kenny, that's all you gotta do. Throw some pen apps my way. See, man, just gotta think. Okay, let's go with Cosplay Chef. Let's see what you have for me. Something amazing. I just realized after this, I gotta open up Vibrant's gift. It's been forever. I've been somewhat teasing it in the videos unintentionally, not realizing that I was loaded up with gifts for the day. Now's the time. Let's see what Vibrant has to offer us up. How's it going? Hey, uh, I just got up here. Just getting ready for the uh, shiny event area. All right, just one sec. Just open up some gifts. We got three Pokeballs from the Chubbuck. Was it the Garden and Feed Store, I believe? And can we get one more gift opened up? I don't know. I already opened that one up. Hang on, scrolling down, scrolling down. Minecraft Pros, can we open up your gift or are we maxed out for the day? We still can open it up. All right, boom, Pokeballs, I can use those. Ultra Ball, excellent. I'll catch up with you in just a second there, okay? And let's open. I think we're at the end of our locals. I'm gonna open up from my friend Skitty Sketches. This one comes to us from the Boar War Memorial Fountain. Now I'm going to call it quits for the moment for gifts. I'm going to keep moving on so even my more Squirtle. My lucky egg is burning out. I got to get a move on. Just completed another research task to catch five Squirtle. This one, pretty decent, so that is pretty transferable. Let's see what we can get off of this research task. Of course, we're going to find one with uh, glasses, of course, but we can shiny. Come on. Hello. How's it going? Claim reward. What do we got? It's going to lag, isn't it? All right, we've got to restart. One moment. All right, we're started back up again here. Let's see what this one claims for us. No, I thought it was going to be a shiny after all that. Still more Squirtle in this area, though. I'll grab them. If any of them are shiny, we'll show you that. Otherwise, let's move on for some more research tasks. Actually, change of plans. I think I'm going to need to spend some time charging up again to uh, last the rest of the event. So I think for the next 20-some minutes, I'll see what I can do for evolutions for some Pokemon We're using the lucky egg here and recharging the phone and get back on the hunt for the last 30 to 40 minutes. See if we can find any more shiny Squirtle. With just about a half hour left of the event, I think I got enough of a charge to see us through to the very end. We got a shiny? No, we don't. Now, I just realized I got to pay attention and see for evolution wise which Pokemon do I want to have as my. Hydro Cannon Blastoise. I like to try to have one of each kind of a Blastoise. Now, okay, if there were enough shinies for me to choose from, I would want one shiny with the exclusive move and one without, but I don't think we're going to manage to pull that off. So as far as not having the exclusive move, I've got Sheldon, our regular Blastoise, so I don't really don't need another one from this event without Hydro Cannon. I have someone in mind to evolve up and make our Hydro Cannoning Blastoise. I already have one with the sunglasses. I do want to evolve one without, or you know, with the sunglasses without the Hydro Cannon attack, which I can do after the event is over anyways. Let's claim the reward from this, a standard Squirtle with the sunglasses. And I realize with all the ones of the uh, sunglass variety that I'm picking up through this event, I'm going to really have to start going through and seeing which ones do we keep. Like, it'd be cool to have five, of course, that is the original Squirtle Squad team, although we don't have the pointed glasses, but oh well, no big deal. So I'd like to have five Squirtle, one War Turtle, and two Blastoise, one with the exclusive move and one without. But I might even get more War Turtle. I don't know, I have plenty of candy. This one's got max HP, pretty cool. So as we head up towards this area up in the distance for some more research tasks, I'm going to take a look at our Pokemon. And which ones do I want to evolve up? I favorited some. This one here with the shades. I think this is the one we want to make with the, uh, what is it? HP and defense are the best I've ever seen. I think that one I want to make into a Blastoise without Hydro Cannon. We'll evolve you into War Turtle right now and get you ready to roll. There's another one I favorited as well. I'm going to make it our permanent War Turtle with the old shades. I still love the fact that they're keeping their costumes. I want to see what other costume Pokemon they put into the game eventually. Because you know there's got to be more. It can't just be Squirtle and Pikachu. Alright. For the time being, 
you have evolved up all the way. You're going to War Turtle. But this one I think we're keeping as a War Turtle. Actually, no, this one's going to be the other Blastoise, the other one with the HP and defense. More defensively, that's going to be the War Turtle. So this one, either way, they both have to evolve up one stage. Let's get War Turtle here. And when the event is done, we'll have a Blastoise with, I don't know, Hydro Pump maybe. What else does it get? Flash Cannon. Something along those lines. Right now we got two War Turtle with the shades. I love it. Very fitting. It's so cool. I love costumes and stuff. All right, I see a squirrel this way. Three more spots I can pick up research tasks from. Let's get moving for the last half hour of the event. And I totally forgot, I actually wanted a standard squirtle without the sunglasses to actually have Hydro Cannon as well as a Blastoise. I've selected this one here. Forgot to show you guys the IVs. We'll check that in just a second once we get all the way up into Blastoise level. I wonder if we'll find any more shinies. I don't know. Like I try to say, shine is not the most important thing. So, you know, like, doesn't mean their stats are any better, it's just they're, they're more rare and stuff, but it's like, you still kind of want to get as many as you can. Alright, actually, first let's check your appraisal now. No, I'm not transferring. You come out with the best of them, with max defense. So I think that's kind of good for a Blastoise. I didn't want to evolve you yet, I wanted one without Hydro Cannon. No, wait, no, this is right. Okay, <laughs> good stuff. I was like, did I just mess up? Now, I've got Sheldon, my Blastoise, without Hydro Cannon. This one can have Hydro Cannon. Okay, and I didn't even check what the uh, stats of Hydro Cannon are like. Is it like Frenzy Plant or Blast Burn? Looks like it's more like Blast Burn. So 90, two charges, that's 180 damage total. That's not bad. Alrighty, so Blastoise is there. Let me see another Squirtle here, shiny maybe? Nope. Let's get some more research tasks and try to get as many Sunglass Squirtle as we can. Have a lot to choose from for keeping on the team. Let's grab this Pokestop, grab another one of our Catch 5 Squirtle research tasks. And let's see if this one happens to be a shiny for us. Nope, but it is one step towards completing these last few tasks here. I don't know if there's any other spots I can get to within the next 24 minutes to get more research tasks. But if there are, I'll do my best to grab them and get as many chances as possible for shiny Squirtle with the sunglasses to show you folks. I have another Squirtle around the corner. I'm going to catch it while we're here anyway. One sec. What's your appraisal like? Room for improvement? Okay. So you can go ahead and go say hi to Professor Willow for us. Thank you. Now, are you a shiny? You are not. However, you are research task fodder to complete. Let's grab this one. Get another research task completed. I guess I haven't gotten all the ones up in the uh, King Square, the park, yet, so I can go up there. But let's see what our first completion right here as you can see there, will give us. This one's stats are room for improvement. Room for transfer. All right, come on, let's see what luck we get. There's one across the street too that just spawned up from Allure. There's so much action going on for Pokemon. Non-shiny, of course. Let's catch it regardless and maneuver onward ever, come on. Maneuver onward evermore. And at just this moment, we have another Alolan egg hatching up. Well, let's see what we get. Gotta love this four times walking distance for the uh, egg hatching. No Vulpix, but I will take another Alolan Sand Shrew. Where are you from? You come from Malaysia. And you can battle with the best with max HP and attack. Pretty decent. All right, see another Squirtle. Can we grab a non-shiny? Yes, we can. Another Squirtle over this way. Can we see a shiny? No, but this is, again, a completion of a couple of research tasks. Two more chances of finding a shiny with the shades. I gotta think of nicknames for all these Pokemon too. I mean, I guess being a fan of turtles, I can think of a lot of turtle related nicknames. The uh, Ninja Turtles come to mind, so I can use some of them. But let's see, first of all your stats. Really strong, we're gonna transfer you. I've had to clear up space. I'm keeping all the Squirtle that have the uh, you know top level appraisal. For the time being though, everyone else is getting transferred away. So first, sunglasses check. Don't do this again. I gotta restart again. All right, let's try this again here. Standard Squirtle with the shades, okay. I can't believe I haven't run out of a golden raspberries yet, or at least gone down below a hundred. Do you guys see that? Last second attack? Yeah, it's lovely. But I can't believe I haven't gone down below a hundred yet. I haven't even been doing raids other than that Kabuto. I guess I did get a few golden raz from that. All right, got that Squirtle caught up. Now it's kind of funny, they do mention 
that any Blastoise that you uh, evolve or catch on these kind of days would have the special uh, event move, but I've never seen the Wild Evolve Pokemon on days like this. So, I don't know if it's just really, really rare or if they're just kind of pulling our legs. Alright, another standard with the shades. <sighs> we'll be back in short order as we look for some more Squirtle and research tasks. Or, we could hatch an egg. Let's see what comes out of this 5 kilometer egg right here. Watch it be shiny Squirtle. That'd be pretty awesome, actually. But it's a Torchic. Hang on to that, I think. So if I get any more research tasks tomorrow to say evolve a fire type, we have someone ready to roll there. And you got max attack. Nice little Torchic. Some more Squirtle in the area. We'll try our best to find a shiny, but if not, I'll roll back on in just a moment. Okay, we just found another shiny Squirtle getting down to the wire here. Very, very close call. Now, can we catch this one? It is a uh, lure spawn, and they generally have a better chance to break out and flee. Golden Raz curveball. Okay, nice. Shiny number two. Now, I'm wondering, let's check the stats first of all. If it has amazing stats, should we make it a Hydro Cannon Blastoise? It's only pretty decent, so that kind of answers its own question. But that is still another Squirtle. Let's see if we can get one more shiny. Nope. But, uh,. I'm happy with that. Two shinies, one, sorry, two shinies without, one with the glasses. There's still eight minutes left though. Can we find anything else amazing by the end? Just a couple of minutes left of the event. We have a two kilometer hatching. Do we see Peachy with the sun hat maybe? No, we got a Whalmer. Okay then, but I have one last Squirtle to catch to complete another research task. You are really strong. All right, anyways. Which one should we go for? Let's go with the closer one, unless we get a hop it by mistake. Come on, hop it, get out of there. You know what? I'll catch you quick. And we've got to catch that Squirtle and finish a research task. And with only a minute left to go in the event, and my batteries are both almost pretty much donezo, we're going to have to call it a day. I'm going to head back home, start editing up the footage, and do a final recap as we talk about how things went for our Pokemon Go Community Day for Squirtle. Come on, okay, grab that one. Well, that's a nice one to end off with. Another shiny. Downside is, I'm not going to have time to evolve it into Blastoise to get Hydro Cannon. But I mean, it might not have the best move, or the best IVs anyway. Plus, it might run away if we're not careful. Alright, let's see. Can we make the catch? I wonder if we'll get a shiny from the last research task as well. I didn't bother going to pick up any more research tasks because I knew we were going to run out of time for getting all these Squirtle. There it is, 6 o'clock. And that's the last of our missions complete. Your stats, pretty decent, not bad. So that's our third shiny without the sunglasses. That's cool, I'll take that. Let's get one last research task reward. A non-shiny, but that is totally fine. All right, let's go ahead and snag this final one for community day. Would you simmer down? Look at that jumping there, look at a jumping bean. I should call you Bean, Mr. Bean. All right, there we go. So, I'm going to evolve up one of those War Tortle that I want to have without Hydro Cannon. And which one is that going to be again? Let me just double check. First of all, you can battle with the best. With really strong HP and defense. Pretty nice. Let us go into our Pokemon and go by number. So, which War Tortle was it? Show me too many to choose from here. Uh, well, you, what's your appraisal like? Battle with the best with HP and defense maximum. Okay, I think we wanted one with attack, wasn't it? Wait, are we evolving you? I thought it was a different war turtle. I'm getting all sidetracked here, hang on. Okay, this one has hydro cannon. This one with the shades has hydro cannon. So one of them without the shades. So which one? I believe the one with the attack. Appraise. Max attack. Okay, you're, we're going to give you the hydro pump. Let's evolve you up. Okay, I think we got it figured out now. So we have a War Turtle with the sunglasses, with non-Hydro Cannon. One with sunglasses with Hydro Cannon. One without sunglasses with Hydro Cannon. And then Sheldon is our, our Blastoise without Hydro Cannon and without the sunglasses. I think that gives us one of each, technically. Now, if we were to include Shinies in that count, then that's a whole other kettle of fish. And I think the battery just ran out. Or it's getting pretty close. One second here. It did run out. Anyway, you can't see me right now. That's as good a time as any for me to head back home and start charging up and editing some footage.
And so that basically concludes our coverage of Pokemon Go Community Day for July of 2018, featuring Squirtle. There are a few other things to go over just before we end off here, though. It is currently the next day. Man, that was a lot of editing. So, sorry the uh, video was a day later than it should have been, but good to see Cracker, my Magikarp over there at the gym. Very nice. So what we're going to do is talk a little bit about the future, because coming up soon, can we see in the news here, Pokemon Go Fest, I believe, is next weekend, and... Yeah, I have an idea about what's going to happen. Is it mentioning it here? Pokemon Go Summer Tour. Well, there's the website there. You can check it out get more information. But, uh, yeah, in... What is it? A Walk in the Park Experience at Pokemon Go Fest 2018, July 14th and 15th. So that is this weekend coming up. There is going to be some more global challenges for doing 5 million research tasks in various areas. And I think it's 100,000 or 500,000, something like that, down for Go Fest itself in Chicago. They say there's going to be a special reward if all regions complete all of those tasks, and based on the fact that the last one, the special reward was Articuno Day, I think we can look forward to seeing a Zapdos Day or Moltres Day for that, but then also two weeks after GoFest is a Safari Zone in Japan with more global research tasks as they challenge. So I think we're going to possibly see all shiny legendary birds in the game coming up this month. So stay tuned for that. As for right now, we got some evolutions to take care of. I want to take a look at all of these Squirtle that we've gotten recently. While I do so, you guys can see the animals out here. Hello, guys. I think Cookie wants to jump up. There she goes. And there's Oreo. He might jump up, too. Don't you do that. She likes to bark at people out here. All right, let's look up Shiny of recents. So since we have three... What are you doing? Since we have three Shiny Squirtle... I got one with the shades. I'm going to keep him as is for the time being, though. Let's see. Who do we want to evolve up? Let's check the stats on these, because I do want to get a shiny Blastoise, of course. So I have three Squirtle. I can evolve one to a War Turtle, one to Blastoise. So this one has max HP. Don't cry, girl. It's okay. You want to head inside in a minute? This one has max defense. Pretty good. And what's this Squirtle here have to work with? For improvement, it was a really strong defense. So that's like the uh, the lesser of the two, I believe. Let me just double check again. Room for improvement. I think there's two, the other two said decent. Let me just make sure I get this right. Yep, pretty decent. So that one has max defense. The other one had max HP. Sorry, I know I just went over this, but I'm going again just to be sure. Max HP. So I'm thinking the max HP will make into the Blastoise. So we'll evolve you up one stage. And we see a shiny war turtle here on the screen. And you guys can check out the animals once again. Hey guys! What are you doing? What are you doing? Ruff. Actually, we can see the war turtle here too. Look at that! It hardly looks that different. Let me just take a look here. Still got the green shell though. That is pretty cool. So we'll evolve you again in just a moment. But let's get this one evolved up. Get another war turtle. And then we'll evolve that first one back, in, or back up once again into Blastoise and get the entire Squirtle chain. Now, I'm also going to probably take a look at all these Squirtle with these sunglasses. Oh, I didn't take a look at that yet. I can see how many I've gotten completely for sunglasses Squirtle. But I'm going to probably just keep the ones that are top level, because they're filling up a lot of space in my Pokedex, or not Pokedex, in my collection. Now, first of all, let us get one more evolution. Get nice shiny Blastoise on our screen, in our collection. Very cool. I'm glad I got three shiny, so I can have one of each form. Whenever I don't get one of each form, or you know, enough shinies to have one of each form, I don't evolve any of them, because I want to wait and see what I can get uh, later on. So this one, does the shell even look green? I guess it does. The front part looks still brown, I noticed, but there's a shiny Blastoise. The blue doesn't look that different on it. Alright, so with that, let's now go to our recents without the shiny. How many shiny swirl did we... or not shiny, how many sunglasses did we get? One, two, three... Five, six, nine. In fact, you know what I can even do? Just go like this. Let's look at the Squirtle themselves. So I've got one on there. So three, six, nine. Nope. Bear with me here. They're all over the place. Okay, so we have two Blastoise with sunglasses. That counts as two. One with one more turtle with. That's three. Uh, five, eight, eleven, fourteen. Whoops. Seventeen. There's 20, one with the shit, or one with the shiny. 22, 25, 26. So we get 26 total Squirtle with the sunglasses. Very cool stuff. 
All right, so that is going to be a wrap for Pokemon Go for today. If you folks took part in Community Day for July looking for Squirtle, how many Shinies did you get and how many sunglasses did you get? And how many of both? Just out of curiosity, just let me know in the comments down below and just share your uh, accomplishments with everyone who's going to be checking out the comments as well. What are you growling at? What are you growling at? Don't growl at it. We're going to head inside in a moment here anyways. But uh, thank you folks for checking out today's video for Pokemon Go. Feel free to subscribe to the channel if you're not currently subscribed because on Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays every morning I do a Pokemon Go gifting live stream. You folks can get some gifts from me in my local area here in Canada. Get some pretty far distant eggs depending on where you're located at. And if you want to see some more content of Pokemon Go, there's a link in the description to the whole playlist. You can check that out. There's also some more videos on the channel you can check out and I'll have a few of those up during the outro as well. But that is going to be a wrap. i got to get out and do some more gifting already and restock the items because I burned through a lot of my berries with all that catching yesterday. So with all that being said, Professor Chaz is signing off. Thank you folks once again for watching and I'll catch you next time.